Welcome back to the Bellagio for another episode of Poker Tonight. Now it's a really exciting time here at this casino because the Bellagio Cup 3's $10,000 buy-in World Poker Tour main event is playing out its final table as we speak. That's right, earlier today Christy was down by the Tower Ballrooms to give us an update on the tournament and talk to some of the players. We're here at the Tower Ballroom of the Bellagio to bring you the last nightly update of the Bellagio Cup 3 Tournament Series. It's final table time for the $10,000 buy-in World Poker Tour main event. There are big players at this final table, including the chip leader, Kevin Below above Saul, and second in chips, two poker pros are tied, Mike the Mouth Madisau and Shane Schlager. The other three players at that final table are Danny Wong, Konstantin Puchkov, and Eric Pinajayu. They are all fighting for that first place prize of more than $1.3 million, a $25,000 seat into the World Poker Tour Championship in April, and a gold Bellagio bracelet. Make sure to stay tuned into CardPlayer.com for live updates to find out who the winner is. This is the first year that the Bellagio Cup is a World Poker Tour event. Making a televised final table is a dream for most poker players. Finishing on the final table bubble? Well, that's just tough. Earlier today, I got a chance to talk to Gordon Ng, who finished 7th place in this tournament. We're here with Gordon Ng. Gordon, you finished 7th right on the televised final table bubble. What happened? Well, I had an ace-king and I raised from early position and uh, Mike Mattisau had a big hand, pocket aces, and 7-handed, I can't get away from ace-king. And actually, a king flopped out and it crippled me and I, money went all in on the flop and uh, I only left, got left with 200,000 in chips, and soon after that, I busted out. I was very disappointed. So you said before this is your first cash in a 10K event. 90 grand is pretty good, though, isn't it? It's okay, but you know, it's not about the money. It's about getting to the final six. I just wanted to get to the final six, get on TV, and uh, take it from there. I thought I had a good shot at the 1.3 million, but this is the best uh, cash I had at a $10,000 event. Well, it's quite an accomplishment. Now, since you're not there, who do you think is going to win? Well, I think uh, Mike Mattisau has a good shot at uh, winning this because he has uh, probably more experience than anybody else at the final table. But also Shane and Kevin Saul is a really, really good player, internet player. So, But I would put my money on Mike Mattisau. Since, since he does have all your money. Since he has my chips, and hopefully he'll put my uh, chips to good work. Well, thank you very much, and congratulations on a good finish. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So you got a chance to talk to all the final tables before the tournament started, right? Yes, I did, and that'll be its own separate piece on Card Player TV, so make sure and check that out. But I also got to talk to Layla Cayley, the new WPT hostess of the World Poker Tour. Nice. What did you talk to her about? Well, check it out. We're here with Layla Cayley, the new hostess of the World Poker Tour. We got to catch up with you on your first, on your first event, and this is your second event, This is right? my second event, yes. You're so pretty, I can't look at you. No, you are no, I'm not No, I'm not looking at you. She's too pretty. It's distracting. No, so. every time every time I see you, I've seen you on G4 uh -huh, and all the shows. Uh -huh. And I'm a big fan of yours. I really like... You're so I, sweet. You're <laughs> making me blush. This is like... It's hard to interview somebody you're like a fan of, so I'm like, aww. No, I think you're too pretty. I can't... I'm not used to getting interviewed by such pretty women, so I'm getting all nervous. All right, let's do, let's do this. Sorry. Actually, I'll try I'll and be professional. <laughs> It's cool. Okay. You can hit on me if you want. No, I'm just kidding. No, we actually were talking about poker players and... and you shouldn't say that because... Uh, anyway, go on. We are talking about the best lines. Yes. Have, have you heard any good lines lately? Especially yeah. from poker players because... None of the poker players have tried to pick me up so far. So I don't know what's wrong with me. Is Do they usually try and hit on the girls or... Um, it seems like poker players are always trying to look for a new girlfriend or something. I guess I'm not their type in that case, because no one's hit on me. Well, that makes me feel really inadequate, actually. You know what? <laughs> I bet after this airs, you're going to get so many people hitting on you after this. Uh, if they look like you, Christy, I'll be very, very happy. <laughs> so have you been picking up poker since you've had Yes, I have. I, um, you know, I'm relatively new to this. I started playing poker about a year and a half ago, and I was thrown into it. Um, I never played poker, didn't know how to even read cards, and... I got like put into the Stuff Magazine um, poker tournament. I had no idea. Jennifer Tilly and, and Johnny Chan were kind of like giving me lessons. So that's how I was introduced to it. And then I, I really liked it. When I was growing up, I wasn't, I grew up in a strict household. Like I went to an all girls school, like Catholic church, you know, so it was like forbidden. And, and it was nice to like just rebel and be able to play. And um, I'm going to the World Poker Boot Camp, which we're having. And that's going to be fun because for three days, I'm going to kick some butt. 
So what World Poker Tour stop are you looking forward to the most this season? You know, honestly, we're going to Turks and Caicos, and that obviously is, you know, tropical and gorgeous and stuff. But for me, being from England, I love meeting, like, proper Americans, like, you know, true American, like, sweet home Alabama kind of thing. I love that. So we're going to... Uh, Mississippi, Biloxi, and I'm really looking forward to that stop. That's like my favorite because I want some southern cooking. Yeah, I was going to say, you're going to have yeah. to get some barbecue. Barbecue, ribs, yes. and mashed potatoes, and mac, mac and cheese, and what's the other thing? Collard, collard greens? Yes. Is that what Americans eat? Yeah, or collard grits? greens yes. and grits. Stuff like that. All that stuff. I want to gain a couple of pounds, so hopefully when I go to Biloxi, Mississippi, they'll have me and give me some nice food. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> it was so nice great to meet you. Meet you. Looks like she likes you a little bit, Christy. I liked her too. Mm -hmm. She's really sweet and even more beautiful in person. So far, at that final table of six, no players have been eliminated, but Danny Wong, who started in the middle of the stack, has doubled up on Kevin Below Above Saul. Now, wait, you were downstairs. Yeah, I've been watching the event since it started. Uh, Kevin Saul came in as the chip leader, quickly lost almost half his stack in a succession of hands, some to Mike Meadows, some to Shane Schlager, and then just got him back as quick as he lost them, so it's been pretty crazy down there so far. you have any predictions as to uh, the end of this event? I don't know. Shane Schlager, like you said, Mike Matisell, Kevin Blobuffsaw, they're so talented, I have no idea who's going to win. And those amateurs, and, well, somewhat unknowns, are, are really talented too. I saw them play a little bit yesterday. Hmm. So you just mentioned all six of the final tables. Yeah, so I know. I could, so thank well, you for your predictions, Christy. That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah it was really helpful. It was really helpful, wasn't it? Mike Matisell. You think Mike's going to win? Why do you think that? He's, this is a shot at a WPT title. He's playing well. He's got all his family and friends supporting him. And uh, I don't know. I just feel it for him. It's going to be an exciting road to the winner of the Bellagio Cup 3. They're going to win more than $1.3 million. So make sure to stay tuned into carplayer.com for live updates. And now, on to the World Series of Poker. Out of the 6,385 players that started this main event, we are now down to less than 30. The, out of the big names that started today, we have lost Bill Edler and young gun Daniel Lai. However, poker pros Lee Watkinson and former world champion Scotty Wynn are still in contention for the $8 million first place prize. The current chip leader is William Spadia, and he's got $12.9 million in chips. They are now playing down to a final table of nine. Tomorrow will be a break for the players, and they will return on Tuesday the 17th to crown our newest World Series of Poker champion. I'm really excited to see that final table as well. Yeah, that's going to be a really good final table. I'm very excited for it. But I'm also excited to get back down to the Tower Ballroom and watch the World Poker Tours Bellagio Cup 3 main event. So that's it for tonight. Good night, everybody. Good night.